principles and move on. Techniques will change with time. 100 years from now, people are going to be like, oh man, the 21st Grand Master and Soke and Anshu, and she is crazy witch, and she is teaching this, that, and the other, and da, 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 but the principles I'm teaching will never change. Principles last the test of time. Techniques will always change. Because the techniques that they did back then against the spear aren't really that relevant right now. And the techniques that we're doing right now, they work now. And right now, none of us can even imagine the kind of fucking guns and shit they're going to have. But that's going to be way more advanced than 100 years from now, I promise. It's going to be shit that we don't know anything about. Which is why the school has a fundamental base in the five areas. That way it can grow. Because if the Buddha Rukai was strictly seven traditions, it would die. My job as the 21st Soke of the Tomodoro tradition is to make sure that it gets passed on to the next generation. The only way it can do that is that I feed it to the next generation. How can we do that? It has to have an opportunity for growth. So if I teach you guys the five areas, seven traditions, there's Tomoru. With that, you have to do Gendai Hinkawaza, the modern variations. Whoever the next Soke or the next Grand Master is, those will probably change because the Hinka has to match the time. The seven traditions will never change. That is one of the five areas. The, modern, the variations will change. The Hojo and Do, the training, the supplemental training, that'll change. Because training and supplementation and the, the way that we lift weights and we train our bodies now is not like it was in the 50s. Have you ever seen a 1950s workout? You know, like this, this, this. They did their squats. You know what I mean? It ain't the same shit. We're, say, we're far more advanced. 100 years from now, our training will be advanced. But if you look at the five areas of training, it has one foot in roots in tradition and it has the other foot in growth. We want to study the traditions. We have to make sure we can apply it today. We have to train our mind and body to be efficient in doing what we do. We have to study the ancient scrolls, right? And we have to have a sense of Seshin Teki Kyoyo. We have to have a spiritual refinement. We have to build our spirit. Spirit's not religion. Spirit's internal. It's not the divine. Did you catch what I'm saying? So when you have all of this in your training, the deepest secrets generally, most people don't want to learn them any damn way. Like, I'll just tell you now, the reason most people don't learn them is because no one wants to learn them. It's all esoteric and, and shit that is hundreds of years old. What they believed hundreds of years ago. The first couple levels are more applicable skills. You know what I mean? Camouflage, knives, climbing. They're not useless, they're just Samurais climb trees, so do ninjas. It's the perception of how you paint the picture, right? Samurais fight with swords, so do ninjas. Samurais fight with knives and kill people, so do ninjas. I mean, do you catch what I'm saying in, that, in this idea? So it's, it's the perception of how you present the information to make them put it into what category when the skill set is the same skill set. Because when you get down, I'm saying samurai and ninja, Ninja or something. Again, whittling it down to the truth. <laughs>